Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you spent a day or so making some bone broth? Look at this, I just finished making some out of beef bones and you can see the bones are all uh, starting to disintegrate and crumble and they've released all their nutrients and made this delicious bone broth. So now what is the best way to store it? Well, you can put it in canning jars and you can keep it in the refrigerator for three to four days. I like to put it in these simply because you can see what it is and it's a nice serving size if somebody wants to have say one cup a day is how uh, it's explained as a healthful way to eat it. So there's two cups in a pint jar, there's four cups in a quart jar depending on the needs of your family. Know that if you place them in these jars these have to go in the refrigerator and not in the pantry. If you wanted to put them in the pantry you would then have to use a canning method to seal the jars. These aren't sealed, this is just sealed to put in the refrigerator for a few days. If you want to freeze it, I like the ball uh, freezer jars. I've just been using these and I like them very much. They come in a one cup or two cup which is a pint size and they are plastic, they're nice, they seal well and you can just snap on the lid and then stick them in the freezer. The nice thing about them is because of the way they're tapered, after it's frozen, you can just squeeze it and it will release and come out. I use them for lots of things in the freezer and I like them a lot. But know that when you put it in, it needs to be cooled a little bit because the steam will build up and then you need to press the lid down to make sure that it's completely sealed before you put it in the freezer. But don't forget about it and leave it out on the counter too long. Another thing that I like to do is freeze uh, bone broth in ice cube trays because I know that each cube will equal one tablespoon. So I can measure a tablespoon or simply I know that it is and I can put it in a measuring cup and just fill it up and know that then I have a tablespoon. So there's 16 tablespoons in a cup. So for every quarter cup that you want you would use four. So there's two four, six, eight, sixteen. So this would be one cup and eight would be a half a cup and four would be a fourth of a cup of bone broth in the cubes. After they're finished being frozen you can just pop them out, place them in a Ziploc bag or another freezer container and then uh, be sure you label them and put the date and then you can just take them out as many as you would want for a recipe that you're going to use. These are three of my favorite ways to store bone broth. Let me know how it works for you and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel and have a wonderful day.